What's up you guys? Welcome to Mo Money's channel. So today you guys, I wanted to make a hair tutorial. A lot of you guys wanted to know how I curl my hair. I got a lot of requests, especially for the way I curled my hair on my birthday. So I decided to make you guys a video on how I did this look. So I hope you guys like it. So today I'm getting ready because me and Brittany are about to go out tonight. Um, I'm also pre-gaming a little bit during this video. I hope you guys don't mind. Let's get it started. Just to start out, you guys, I put my hair um, a little more than halfway up. So I probably do about this much. And then I put the rest of up. So usually I straighten it maybe about up to right here. I don't straighten it all the way down. I just do that just to kind of defrizz it a little bit and smooth it out a little bit. And I strain it about that much. You don't want to do the ends because it's going to be hard for your curls to stay. You just want to smooth out the top. And I'm using the Paul Mitchell straightener. My hair is really dry also. I mean, if your hair is already kind of oily, then you don't really need to do it. Um, I use a little bit of Paul Mitchell um, hair serum. So I just put a little bit, not too much. And I just put it on the top a little bit just to kind of smooth it out. And again, you don't want to put too much because you don't want your hair to be oily. Oh, I wear extensions, you guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tease my hair a little bit from the top just so my extensions could stay on better. And I'm just using this little teasing brush that I got at Sally's. These are the Balami hair extensions in chocolate brown. I just smooth out the top. And I already did this earlier, but I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. I usually don't clip them on like right at the root just because it's just kind of too tight on your head. Now that I have my extension on, and I'm only going to put a little bit of the Paul Mitchell hair serum just to kind of make it a little smooth. Okay, you guys, so now another favorite product that I like to use is the Paul Mitchell Foaming Pomade. You don't even need a lot of it. You just want to use a little bit. Uh, basically, it helps your curls stay on longer. So you only want to put that on your ends. For the curling iron, uh, this is for all my ballers on a budget. I just use the Revlon one. So this is the one that I use. Uh, you could use a wand. Um, you could use any kind of curling iron. What you're going to do, um, you're going to grab a strand of your hair. Also, it, it depends how thick you want your curls. Today, I'm going to do like a wavy hair look. I'm going to grab about this much hair. And then I'm just going to grab my curling iron. And then I'm just going to put it on the barrel like this. Just put it down and I'm gonna do that with the next strand so I kind of want big waves so I'm kind of doing big chunks I usually switch the way that I curl my hair like depending on what side I do so what I mean by that let me just show you guys real quick so if I'm doing the left side of my hair I'll basically curl it like this Okay, now I'm going to do the right side, so now I'm going to do it the opposite way. So just to get a little closer, I do it like this. Just to give you guys another little close-up of how I curl it, you grab it and all you do is just wrap it around. It's not that hard. I don't know, maybe because I've been doing it for a long time. So now I'm just going to let my curls chill. I don't really separate them when they're still hot just because I feel like they don't stay as curly. So I just let them cool down a little bit. And I think it's time for another shot. What do you guys think? <clears throat> my chaser guys salute I 
All right, you just gotta get the first three out the way, guys. So now we're gonna do the next section. Now I'm gonna tease this part. And again, I already smoothed the top out. I also already kind of uh, straightened my extension earlier. Um, so I don't need to strain it out again. Now I'm going to get some of my Paul Mitchell. And I'm only going to put a little bit on. I literally only use like that much, you guys. I don't use a lot. Because it'll probably make your hair look a little greasy if you put too much. And I only put it at the end. Straighten out the baby hairs. Okay. So when you're doing the left side, again, you curl your hair like this. And you could curl your hair all the way at the top. I kind of want to have like half of it a little straight so I'm not doing the top I'm only doing my ends I just started using extensions I want to say about a year ago um, I the reason why I started using them is because I used to have really long hair and I like really damaged it I had my hair like red I had it red for like two years and I would have to dye it like every month because Red is really hard to maintain, like it kind of bleeds a lot. So I had it for two years, then I decided to go blonde. So that just basically damaged my hair even more. And my hair is like naturally really, really dark. I have really dark brown hair. So once I went blonde, like it just fucking killed my hair. I, that I really regret it. So now I'm gonna do the right side. And again, we're gonna switch. It took me a while to get like used to switching it but now that I did it so many times like I'm already used to it so again you're gonna switch the way you do it and in case you guys are a little confused but by what I mean with to switch it so basically when I'm curling it on the right side you do it out and then you curl it see Just let it go. Like these little hairs didn't curl right, so I'm just gonna curl them again. So now we're gonna do the next section. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm actually gonna put them on first on my real hair, just to make sure it's getting on my ends. And I hold on to the handle, you guys. I don't put the handle down because if not, it's going to crease your curls. Some people like to curl their like their extensions before they put them on. Um, I usually just curl them with my real hair. Uh, just because I feel like it blends in better. But it's whatever you prefer. But this is the way that I do it. I usually just curl them in with my hair. I'm going to part my hair. So I parted about to right here. And what I do is I tease my hair a little bit. I'm going to get the first part. And now I'm going to tease it a little bit. And then just smooth out, smooth out the top a little bit so your hair don't look all crazy. So I'm going to do another part. Okay. So now my hair is a little, has a little bit of volume on the top. I'm going to do my bangs just a little bit.
and that gives it a little volume on the top. So now we're gonna go back and curl it. So I'm gonna just do the top a little bit. Ay, wait, make it me. Oh, that's burned like a motherfucker. You guys be careful with this fucking curling iron. Okay, so now I have my bangs, guys. So my bangs, I usually don't like to have them super thick. So I'm just gonna curl a little another piece before I curl my bangs. Okay, are you still curling it? Yeah, I'm almost done. Okay. I think Brittany was coming to give me some cheese, man. Ooh, can't wait for cheese, man. Alright, so now I'm gonna do my bangs. <clears throat> but with my bangs, I have a lot of baby hairs. So I'm gonna put a little more Paul Mitchell. These little hairs right here, I want them to stick with this. And usually when my hair starts going down, it's First, my bangs. My bangs are the first to go down. I'm going to leave my bangs a little longer on the curling iron. Okay. So those are my bangs. So this one's a little too thick, so I'm just going to separate and I'm going to redo it. You want your curls a little thicker, you guys? When you're curling it, just put a little more hair into the hair that you're curling. Okay, so now we're almost done. I just got this side to go. I'm going to smooth out my hair a little bit. So. And I'm gonna curl it. Shit, I keep burning myself, you guys. Fuck. Alright. <clears throat> so now just make sure your whole head is curled, okay? So now I'm just gonna comb the back a little bit. I'm gonna separate my curls a little bit. And again, you hold your hair a little bit up and just spray it. If you want a little more volume, you could just hold on to it. And you know what, you guys? I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna put a little bit of the big and sexy. And then my bangs, I'm just gonna do a little bit because I kind of want to keep it a little tight just because my bangs usually come out first. And then I like to put my hair back a little bit right here behind my ear. And I'm gonna just put a little bit of this. I'm gonna spray the top of this too. Oh shit. Okay. I'm gonna spray the top just a little bit. This is so that my bank could have this little. little bit of volume right there. You see what I mean, how I try to have smooth hair and I always end up getting big hair. I always want. Big sexy hair. Okay. Okay, you guys. So, also, I have a lot of like little flyaways, a little flyaways up on the top of my head. 
so I've um, I recently started using this and it works bomb you guys so it's a bed head and it's uh, what is it bed head manipulator this works fucking bomb you guys if you guys have a lot of like little hairs that fly up right here this fucking works good you could get this at Ulta um again if you're a baller on a budget you can get this also on Amazon but it works bomb it is a little messy it's like um it looks like goo but it works bomb you guys and you only need a little bit so I just grab about that much and why I like this is that it doesn't make um, your hair look oily from the top and I barely put some on just to smooth out the top and it puts all your little pelitos down and then also because I like to have my hair on the side I put some right here just to help it stay I'm gonna put a little more on Alright you guys, so we are now done with the hair. You know I'm ready to hit the club. I hope you guys like it. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's take a little honey shot. What about that, huh? I'm gonna take a little baby shot, you guys. Fuck it. Alright you guys. I don't know if it's because I'm taking baby shots, but I swear, like, I don't feel anything. Alright, you guys. This is the finishing look. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope this helped you guys a little bit. I know you guys are always asking me how I curl my hair. Also, you guys, I know um, in my other videos, a lot of times you guys ask me basically what kind of products did I use that day or where did I get my outfit from that day. So today's shirt, I got this from Fashion Nova. And my eyelashes, I got them from KC Mink Left. And they are Choco Cats. So... This is where I got my eyelashes from. I hope you guys like them. So yeah, guys. I hope you guys like this video. And um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You know, I got way more videos for you guys to see. And thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it.